Attention all Darktown residents. This is Kirk Hansen. An unmarked aircraft has crashed in our district. The crash site is now a restricted area. My people will proceed to secure it. The rest of you, go home and stay there. That is, unless you want to catch a stray bullet. I'm imposing a state of emergency in Dogtown until further notice. More news to come as the situation develops. Grab what you can, and let's head out. There has to be an exit here, somewhere. Try this one. Hmm. What's this? Good stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter from her? Zero. Dead quiet. Still. Not good. Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? Let's pause. Think for a sec. What's eating you? I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again? Stopping's not a good idea. We get pinned down, we're ground synth beef. Exactly. But so me can guide us out of this death trap. Call her, please. Okay, gonna give it a shot. I need a songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. Song, are you there? No answer, huh? Guess you got me and only me. Great to see you again, Johnny. Curb the enthusiasm, kid. Never know. Could need me. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With so me? Something was off for sure. Could say she got hit with a demon, maybe tripped a defense protocol on the Chimera's ice. Could say? Mm-hmm. If Songbird was a cookie-cutter runner. Both know she's not, though. Damn fucking straight. But who knows? Nah, whole thing was a clusterfuck. You know, no net run comes without a burn risk. No. Impossible. Somi's had occasional off moments lately. Temporary slumps. But I'm sure she's headed where we're headed. Same destination she gave us. It's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. How you figure that? Cause I wound up at the same rave she went to. Felt like I was underwater. Leagues down. Tried to surface, but this suffocating, sucking sound pulled me back in. Then when she lost control of the Chimera, the water turned into fucking boiling tar. Seems like the sitch spiraled out of control. Amen to that. Though actually, could have been a straight overload. Seen runners caught in those. Shit's ugly. 
So, can we move on? We're heading southwest now. Feels like we're circling back. Uh huh. Song mentioned an abandoned building, place to lie low. No heat sick, so should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, so me. Could use a little help. Of course. Damn fork. Well, we didn't account for this. Which way now? Thoughts? Hmm. Let's try this way. Looks promising. Cameras? Here? Pinson's a military man. He loved con Satan's balls in here. Should plug that. Look for a valve. There we go. Looks like a control room. Betty, that's what we called her. Re-elected nine times. You believe it? She must have had her ass welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City of all places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? Are you? One sec. It'll pass. <clears throat> See? <clears throat> Better already. What's the matter? Are you hurt? Yeah, I could say that. <clears throat> Old wound. One that literally has you on the floor. Got an... Experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. 
It's killing me, literally. So me says she might have a solution. Wait. You're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. A secretive text someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. It also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Expect in more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us. Eight. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully no one else thinks so. We got here first. Seems so. I'll have to sit tight. Though I assume we'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We could also get the radio up and running. Check this, V. Attempted postmodern art. More like a home cooked generator. Maybe we cake started, literally? Uh huh. Old Thornton engine, pretty run down. A little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? That makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panaceum, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico, got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by, and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot, itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. Huh. Saying Songbird didn't give us the full picture. Our mystery girl. Usually love a bit of hard to get, but trust me, rarely ends well. Well, not like we had time to really chat. Spent most of it running. SF1, run. Chimera, run again. It's just... Nah. Got some questions for the chick. Hope we get a chance to ask him. Anyway, let's get this power sitch sorted. Trick by my eye. 
In you go. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. Here it goes. And maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You earned it. New look. Great. Right? Should draw less attention, too. Grab a gulp. Booze? This a good time? Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district-wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes. It's a great fucking time. Just earned yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed. Isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this... spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Night City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Bold to the shit, nobody's buying that. Oh, they're buying it, all right. Reporters even talking to him is the first sign. Night City's public enemy number one, given a full press spread. What a fucking joke. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Gotta let Washington know you're alive ASAP. Ah, call Washington without knowing who'll answer, friend or foe. Or should I go outside? Give Hanson snipers a big thumbs up. No, V. Neither's an option. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird. Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Shumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights that work. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. That never does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. I'm gonna try there. talking first. I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. Back the hell up! That's better. Weapons, now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. You no don't have it! Yes! Around. Weapon! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just look. Back the hell up! That's better. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. 
Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face, say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. You negotiated with Hanson? What was that about? Not... Small misunderstanding. Then Machete, this leg off. You motherfucker. Was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Now my question is, what can you offer us that's better? Jones, for fuck's sake. We're all just trying to survive here. So cool it. Stop talking scop and state your price. One million. Fine. On one condition. You'll help lend us miscellaneous support. Hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. This is your chance. There won't be another. Shit. But it might could be our last. You got a deal, Madam Prez. And... Want me a ray feed? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. Will do. So long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? Rest easy, Chum. Just mind your manners. Okay, I promise, Mama. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new Chooms by tossing back a few, but T and I got to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in the right place. Looking for someone. Asian-American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit. <laughs> you can't ask you to meet at a bar like a normal tune. You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. So, you a nomad? I was. Once upon a time. Abandon your family? I betrayed them. I'd rather not get into it. What's up, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, girl. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? <laughs> I look like I'm from DC to you. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Never been. No, I'm Haywood, born and bred. Dogtown native. No plan to leave, neither. Don't intend to take your shiny new Rayfield on a cross-country road trip. Chum, the day I believe a word out of anyone's mouth will be my last. Then why agree to her deal? Cause I's an honorable motherfucker, maybe? Shit, folks gotta live by some kind of code. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. 
Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me finders keepers. Clipping from Kurt. It's kid stuff. Trickle down economics, I call it. So, one thing I don't get. Building safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. Well, that's because it's haunted. But don't worry, baby. You safe with me. Jacob. It's true. A lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances. Like an aneurysm, each and every one. One time, 12 runners they found. All their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down, banned entry. And the Colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. And fuck urban legends. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on, take a breather. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright, but not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. I gonna give him that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. She's on the balcony. She's not here. Means she's not coming. You've seen the swarms Hansen has out hunting. I didn't have there. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, no, we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hansen's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay, gotta be away. Let me think. <sighs> no, my share of fixers. Bet we could get one though. Out of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Got a talk backup plan. Not a plan, a man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and Somi were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. Sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless it's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup? 
That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. A what now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crashed your open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Mm-hmm, so what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Telling me I'm a special agent now? That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token, what's next? A coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Seeing as we're on the same side, can't hurt. Oh, V. Repeat after me. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. Fucking pathetic. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. On behalf of all NUS citizens, I thank you. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. You know, taking that oath, bad idea. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to me. This ain't one of them. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the system, fuck our Osaka, fuck the NUSA. Jesus Christ, V, this ain't some teenage anarchist boot camp. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard-on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just doing chewing out. Well, look who's away. See that crazy color smoke? Yep, wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that climb. Don't want to climb, or you're not telling me something. You think I'm finna parkour up on one leg? Well, thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing.
again with my favorite merc this side of the Sierra Nevadas. I uh, only did the one gig for you, far as I recall. Mm. And let's not forget our torrid tale of Haitians, Netrunners, and animals. You could not have made contact with the VDBs without me. Your source for adventure I am, in Dogtown as elsewhere. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breached Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Again. Just one. Come out and play. 
Hey, you little cunt. Come on, let's play a game. in the air.
Don't come any closer. Kill me! Uh, stop fucking yelling! They're out of their fucking minds! I, I didn't do anything to them! You, you, you gotta protect me! Get out of my face. Get... what? Are you just gonna stand there and do nothing? <laughs> They'll be here any second! Yeah... and... You don't believe me? Fine, <laughs> give me your piece. I'll take care of them myself. It appears they have an issue with Anderson like himself. The I can barely stand. Office, lost mm. access to all I can't up your morphine. This man won't Bongo be enough for the others. You at the Discuss Whoa, the not without Anderson and anyway. Remember, Dr. Anderson's to remain unscathed. Odell Blanco? Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. More like a miracle. If the scavs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. Looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Now well, that we haven't tried. So what, your Anderson's right hand? Not a physician, if that's what you mean. I provide spiritual comfort. How's that going for you? The patients, they're afraid. If something happens to Anderson, they'll have nowhere to go. This place used to be a church? Yes, mine. But these days, few seek absolution, while many more need transfusions or fresh implants. At least you're still helping them. True. <laughs> Where's a priest to confess? Thought Hanson's goons kept the Dogtown gangs at bay. The Scavs must have struck a deal with Bennett. You know, Hanson's lieutenant here in the MDO. But a Bargas salary don't cover the bills? As the good book says, a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise. Bennett's not even that. What do the Scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. This was about Eddie's or Chrome. The scabs would have just taken him. Sure, but we don't have either. Wait, how's this place even running? Generous donors. The scabs still let you look after the patients. In a sense. Then Nico ordered them to take us all outside. Nobody's allowed in. Said it was between her and Anthony. She doesn't want anyone killed. Uh, or anyone talking later. Scav's got all the doors covered? Main one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the Scav's heard Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. Yo, when the shit kick in, I'm thinking, live here, you know? Yo, what is the story?
Conked out again? No. Nico made short circuit. She wants to get the Ripper. Well, security should be good and dead now. <laughs> Wish she'd do it earlier. Play things like dog kids.
pathetic. Piece of shit! Stay back! Where's Gaspar? Tell me! Chill. Gun down. Let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You! Off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Thought about switching up your game? That iron's not making much of an impact. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ah, what the fuck? You, Merc, help me! No, not zeroing anyone just because you don't want to use your words. I can't fucking believe this. Gasper's dead. What? You're lying! He was just a little sick! Your brother was so high out of his mind, it scorched his metabolic editor. The kid was in a coma before he even hit the table. Huh? How'd he die? Morphine injection. His remaining implants were at risk, and I've got patients who need them. To hell, your other patients! You... You fucking murderer! For Night City, not the worst way to go. He died in the street? 
It just landed in a dump. There was nothing I could do. Why delay the inevitable? We'll extract his implants. They'll go to people who still need them. You won't lay a goddamn finger on him. Give me my brother. No! No. What did you say? Fuck! Help! Where's his body? Fuck off, Scav! You need those implants, I get it. Gonna have to find another way. My, how wasteful. Tell Nika where her brother's at, or I donate your chrome myself. Morgue in the storage room. Here's the card. Son of a fucking bitch! You just killed a whole lot of innocent people. Sure you know the feeling. I do. All too well. Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. Let me get this straight. You take in peeps as they come, then decide who's donating? I've yet to write off anyone who could be helped. When your clinic lacks for literally everything, you need to be pragmatic, make tough choices. You know, my gig's got its dark sides too. Can't say I'd want to swap places though. Fortunately, you don't have to. It's enough not to judge me. The patients, what's their status? With Odell, out in the street waiting. Tell them they can come back in. We need to clean up this mess. Feel sorry for the chick. It's got to weigh heavy on Anderson, too. Guy's got questionable ethics, but what's a doctor to do in Dogtown? It was a lose lose situation from the get go. Listen, know how you feel. Lost someone like a brother to me, too, once. <clears throat> Leave us now, please. Then we rake in the damages.
Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this one. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. What's this? Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. I'll have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Reed? Listen. Got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Call me V. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Get your fresh clip shards here! <laughs>
gonna take Jada for the next week. Why him? Best seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand, basketball fan. That's new. You know what I mean. Everybody. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. He always said we could use another window. How do you mean? You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. <sighs> so go out and play. Just don't get played. Shit! Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians. Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty facts <sighs> if you try to run. Take it from a dessert. Never told me about that. Nothing to be proud of. <clears throat> Tore out that chapter. Crumpled it, swaddled it. Our sitch hairballed it back up. One thing I did learn. Kate in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Get it shelled in your dugout. Tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometime, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel. Stop. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. <laughs> Hans, what you holding? Got this token? Mean anything to you? I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro yeah. spy here, V. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Doubt I was tailed. So you didn't check. I see you still got a ways to go. We'll work with what we got. Black Thought and Merrimack, on the street. Three minutes, front seat. That it? Interrogation over? Already was starting to have fun. Reed? <sighs> Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? <sighs> hey! See that guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coke looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey! Shut it or get lost!
With the right camp installed, man, I free for jump is even hot. Game needs some damn rule changes. You know, man. It's a fuck handsome guy. Black Thornton. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chung's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. Actually, I am, though, just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Freelance Merc. You were born in NC, Hayward. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? Saw me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. You left her alone in Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? The derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. We need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob, he owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man, I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncer. <laughs> That's your Lilo gig? A bouncer. It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Huh. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Had a ciggy on the balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. Let's go.
Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. Relax, she ain't alone. Made some new chooms. Locals. Introductions were a little dicey, but she turned on the charm. Probably has her Dogtown campaign staff by now. This keeps getting worse and worse. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No, nope. come on, open it. Open up. It's me. Yeah, yeah, coming. Don't move. Fuck's much. sake. Again? Where is she? That's enough, gentlemen. Put your tools away, gents. Compare length and girth when I'm not around. You the boss. Are you sure? Look around. Positive. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Come on, we should talk in private. The president, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. So, a cast of hawks squawking for war. For some, the war never ended. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario? Got caught in some ice on the combat bot when she hacked it. One little mishack happens even to the best, but no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean you died already? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you'd let an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and Nancy. Leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough? To get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V. You said in the car a songbird hired you. Correct? I don't know how much she's paying. But you better ask yourself. Is it worth it? 
Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too, Reed. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, and formers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. That yeah, big ass in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Okay, what do we got?
What's up, compadre? Okay, let's see what you can do for me. Just hope I won't regret it. Anything hitches, just come back. At least you won't get bored.
ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown. Until I was... Word from Zeta Tech CEO. The transport, the unmarked, have to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scab seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their SIG. Go to the scab's nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. Send you more details in writing.
probably nothing. Just 